evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust. And uh, to be honest with you, we are into a hell of a match. Hell of a match. Uh, to be honest, I was angry playing this. This was my angry days um, because it was just me on my own, pretty much. I think we had Dell and Judge in as well, but they were in vehicles doing what they do. And uh, to be honest, when you're a lonely little infantryman, plasma cannon, particularly plasma cannon, um, life's pretty tough. So here we go. Look at this. Plasma cannons are actually pretty viable against vehicles now. I know I've shown quite a few kills already, but Jeff, you know, don't don't uh, don't disregard them actually because they can do quite a bit of. Of, uh, of damage, well worth a look. Um, particularly if you, uh, if you, I don't know. If, are you running plasma cannon? Have you tried it, bro? It's pretty fun, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, but this is, this is probably a great match where I think a bit of solo play. To be honest, I should have maybe done a lone wolf of this one because this was me on my own, by the way. Um, pretty much uh, taking on their entire gang. But you know, I don't know if you have these. You know that kind of feeling when you're in the zone. Maybe you're a little angry, a little kind of you know frustrated life's kind of kicking you the balls a bit and you're thinking i've got to go and got to go and smash something beautiful well this is how i usually am when i log into dust this is this is me bro and uh, i always find i do incredibly well when i do this so <laughs> go figure it, it's it's a funny it's weird actually maybe i should go and see a head doctor about it but when let me let me explain to you one of my kind of weird principles and post in the comments if you have this as well because i'd love to hear more about it um, but I've all, as a young child, as a young Pyrex, um, when I was out dominating dudes in Quake and Quake Wars and um, well, Battlefield 2142 and blah, 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 um, I had this incredible ability to focus. Even at school, my teachers said to my mum and dad, God, he's a bit severe, isn't he? I'm kidding, but they didn't say that. Um, they just screamed continually as my parents ran away, <laughs> saying, the horror, the horror. Anyway, um... I used to have this incredible ability, well I still do, this ability to focus. This is a, this ability to shut out the world, shut out the world, shut out the world entirely and focus on the task at hand. So, you know, I probably would have been a really good factory worker because I do switch my brain off. And it comes from a fact, when I was young, I did actually work in a wood mill during the summer from university. I actually worked in a wood mill. And I thought it was the best job I've ever been given because people left me the hell alone. I didn't have to talk to anybody. I could just sit and listen to my music. And I knew that as long as I did a hundred park benches a day, then I was good, bro. And um, life was simple back then. Now it's all about targets and sales and meetings and you know managing teams and oh we've got to get you on the so and so account because you know Jeff's gone and shit on the floor in the conference table when we last met the customer, so we need to go and say sorry about that. And it's like all I seem to do now is turn up and say sorry a lot, and that's my job. That's that's management within this well within my. Blue chip FT100, or rather, um, Forty One Hundred business is. Uh, I say sorry a lot. That's my role, um, and I say it pretty convincingly. So let me give you a little bit of a spiel of it. I'm really sorry we lost you twenty million dollars on that last deal. I you know, would like to apologise on behalf of insert company name here. Uh, of course, we'll make sure this doesn't happen again. Thank you for your continued trust and support in this matter. <laughs> See that is pretty good, wouldn't it? It's may, may, maybe maybe almost convinced you to think that I actually give a shit about my job. Anyway, there we go. So you know, it's it's a funny thing because you can't really. You can't really do much about these things. Um, anyway, what am I talking about? Uh, I think, to be honest, you get these kind of days where the focus is the big thing, and you kind of have this feeling of, right, I'm, I'm really in the zone today. And look at this, I was just absolutely there. That guy's not moving, don't know why. Who knows? But to be honest, I was just absolutely, you know, loving it. As I kind of wade my way through their entire team, I mean, that is pretty cool. I do like the Flaylock and the uh, Plasma Cannon combo. They're working remarkably well um, I think also they're quite fun as well that mustn't be underestimated the fun of a gun should absolutely be its second characteristic after how good it is I honestly believe that <laughs> I've always been like that I think to be honest I can't use the boring guns like the the rifles and all that they're, they're, they're good very good in fact but they're boring so you know not not really my cup of tea um, when you look at how fun a flaylock is and you look at the ragdoll and then just see that it's amazing Last night I found something quite cool as well. I found the mass driver again. Um, I forgot how good that gun was actually, and uh, just just wading through dudes on the right suit. It's actually really good. Um, I've always been running it on a scout suit, which was never really right. 
But if you run it on a Logi with ammo and team support, it's bloody good. So right now, this would be wrecking face on this map. Um, the plasma cannon's good, don't get me wrong. I think it's still probably the superior, superior gun for my needs and wants, but yeah, I was quite surprised actually how good it was. Um, heavies are still a bit of a problem. I'm noticing that the, the because it's for fit of the month now, people are running heavies like crazy. And heavy machine guns are just wrecking dudes. They're literally just the, they're just like the everything suit now because they can be made to run as fast as a scout and they can be made, well, you know, an assault suit nonetheless. They can also do all of the things that an assault suit does, but better. <clears throat> and to make it even more fun, they strafe and they get a, he a headshot bonus and they spew out fire incredibly fast and they're now very good long range and they're incredibly good brick tanks. So to be honest, CCP once again have just made everybody who wants to win have to go to that goddamn fit. So seriously, if you use if you use this, if you switch to a heavy because of that, then seriously, I hate you. I hate you. So we go. Um, to be honest, I think I get a bit frustrated at the way that the nerf buff culture is still massively going on. I mean, some things do need fixing. I totally agree, but oh my god, at the detriment of creating such a douchey fit like the goddamn heavy suit that being used as an assault suit. Seriously, that needs to go. That has to go because it's just terrible. <clears throat> and there's only certain corps using it. What the French? Typical again, you know, and everything that's kind of broken. Those dudes are there, and it's quite kind of funny to be honest that they are just absolutely all over it as well. And literally last night, their gang was six heavies, all all in the same strafing kind of suit, and it was pretty pretty funny to see. But what can you do, eh? What can you do? So back to our little map here. To be honest, this has been going quite well. I've been hunting dudes and being hunted by dudes as well, which is all a bit scary. But look at this. What a save. <laughs> now, that should have been a double kill, but what can you do? But, oh, oh, we're talking. Run away. Run away. To be honest, the game is still pretty good. I think, you know, if you're not playing it, give it a thought. Give it a go. See how you feel. Um, I'm still loving it. Still getting a lot of fun from playing it. Um, I think in the Twilight Times, as they should be now known, uh, the <laughs> the Twilight Times of Dust are actually a good place. The game feels a bit more fun. I think that the serious tryhards have mostly gone now. There's still kind of a few of them around, but they're kind of just being outweighed by the fact that there are people here playing the game who love it, who are actually here because they love the game. It doesn't really matter. I mean, your whole KD now really doesn't matter. But it's nice to see that people are, are enjoying the game um, somewhat more so than maybe they were before. I know I am. I think it's there's no real change. I think it's just the fact that, I don't know, I think the severity is less. There's less reason to get ragey about it as well. That's obviously <clears throat> a really good thing, to be honest, because too many people, I think, were raging um, about, you know, the, the, the kind of bullshit things like PC giving money like it did. It doesn't really matter anymore because it's all going to get wiped anyway. You know, the, the whole PC thing doesn't really matter anyway either. And you know, to be honest as well, so there's there's very little actually to be getting upset about in this game, other than the odd tiny bit of balancing that maybe just really did need fixing and does need fixing continually. Um, I think this is actually a good place. This is a place of uh, of of fun, simple, good, fast-paced shoots, shooty shoots, and I think if you can enjoy the you know the odd match that's going to be crap because there's going to be a few where you get stomped you will have good matches um so give it a try i honestly honestly do that that is a prior x recommendation right there i'm i'm not i'm not just you know fanboying for ccp because <laughs> i do i don't do that um but to be honest if you play it you'll have fun pretty much uh, I'm gonna admit, loving the plasma cannon still. I know I'm keep kind of rocking it a little bit too much. Sorry if it's boring. Sorry if my play of incredible acrobatics and you know single shot excellence is boring to you, bro. I'll get a combat rifle and sit back. Hey, would you, would you like it if I sniped? Maybe. Yeah, let's snipe. Let's sit and snipe for a bit. Yeah, seriously, no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> I've got. To, I can't play like that. I mean, to be honest, it's not just boring for you to watch somebody sitting there sniping. It's boring for me to do as well because I don't like sniping. I think, to be honest, the fun part of the game is this. Watch this. And dead. That is fun. That, to me, is fun. That's what I log into the game to do because that is fun. I think that's great. Uh, Everett got me, you bastard. Seriously, seriously. Uh, let's hope Netherlands win the World Cup, though. Seriously, I do hope that. I don't know. In fact, I need to catch them on the World Cup. I've completely lost track of actually what the hell's going on, but... 
Yeah, it's a funny time, I think. To be honest, you know, Dust is still a great game. There's still plenty to do here that is actually quite fun as well. So I think, um, you know, I, I'm selling the game. I know I am. I keep doing it. I'm sorry. But to be honest, I just want you to have as much fun as I'm having. So you know, it's odd when you log in and you'll... As long as you can just leave the matches that you know are going to be shit, then you'll be fine. Honestly, you will be good. And I think there's plenty of times when I've logged in and there's been a small gang like you see here, there's just three of us in this case, and we played. And we've gone up against, you know, a very, very difficult side indeed. We've actually had incredible fun doing it. So I think as long as you can just get past that um, and, and just leave, you know, and I know people kind of got a bit ragey when I said just leave, bro. But the reality is, is just seriously, if you get into a match that is just a very one-sided match and no one's really trying, then leave and find one that is. There is plenty of matches out there going on still, so I I can't advise enough that people be be picky with your matches. If you get into a match and you see what the French on the other team, just leave because you know that they're going to use bullshit tactics against you. So, <laughs> oh, I love you, really do. I love you, what the French. I really do. You're you're a great team, and I love everything about your protest on ping bit of the month, uh, gangs. I think you're amazing. Seriously. <laughs> I just called them out. That's really funny. Anyway, because none of it matters anymore, seriously. You know, when Legion comes, it's going to be a different game. You're not going to have this competitive kind of uh, pit fighting style feel where you can't really escape. It's going to be an open world MMO FPS kind of game. So to be honest, it's going to be a very different sort of space indeed. Um, and you won't have this kind of forced merging or fusion of, of people into a single match in Legion. It doesn't look like you will. Yeah, you can run, you can still run domination, skirmish, etc. But I don't think it's the same. I think it'll be different. I think there'll be a different focus for it all. And let's face it: once they release PVE into Dust, you'll or rather Legion, you'll never see a lot of people ever again in PvP ever, ever. They'll try and obviously you know do it. So there's going to be times when they'll be out ratting, and then we descend upon them like an angry band of you know jihadists. But to be honest, I doubt it's going to be that often. Off. I, I honestly don't. I don't think it'll be that much. So we go. Not a bad score either. Pretty good. Not bad war points. I am my own orbital. There we go. Rekindling of an old meme from the old <laughs> Tactic Series 2 Episode 10 Drunk Op. If you haven't seen it, by the way, go check that out. That was probably the highlight of uh, Dust for me. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Thank you.